Hey guys, welcome to the JV's Nature Walk. I'm Jabari Bellamy from the JV Photos at Co. We're just about nature and wildlife photography website. And today I'm at the Cromwell Valley Park. It's in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. And I had a lot of success today. This is my first time coming here. I've seen a lot of songbirds like mockingbirds, robins, eastern bluebird. What else did I see? I saw a lot of stuff guys, like a lot of stuff. And I actually photographed a lot of birds as well. Whoop, it's a little bee. It's, <laughs> all right, woo. And so far guys, I love it here. This place has, I think this place used to be like a farmland or something. Then it just turned into like a state park. So it has like open field habitat. It has trails in the forest and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm really talking about. This is like open field. All right, looking at it, it looks like it used to be like some farmland on this side as well. This stuff is really amazing, guys. I, I love this place. Like I never, this is like a, a hot spot for birds, especially song birds. And I'm actually gonna put a, um, a little slideshow for you guys and I'm gonna talk about different pictures I've took at the park and just tell what happened and all that stuff. All right, I'm gonna have to actually pause it right now because I see an Eastern Bluebird is actually hunting. And I wanna see if I can get some, oh, all right, just, it just dove for a minute. But these guys are just hunting this morning. It is hunting for insects or whatever they're doing. But yes, I so far it has been like just in the open field habitat because it's especially early in the morning and you see the birds just, just hunting just for insects and just whatever else they see out here. It is awesome to see them. I've also, had, also seen a red shirt of hawk not too long ago. I came here like around 7.30 a.m. And it is a, the birds activity has not stopped at all. It just has not. I'll definitely be coming back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pictures that I have taken at this park. And I hope you enjoy. So this is the deer I photographed. So when I start hiking in the forest, there was like a herd of deer and they definitely weren't happy with my presence in the forest. They were giving me this, this stare like you see in this image right here. Like this, this deer here was very pissed with me. Like there was a few other deer that would give me a bad look as well. And they were like grunting and stomping the hoofs on the, um, on the ground. And they just would not back down. And like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my pictures and I'm just gonna roll out. You know, so I took a few of these pictures of the deer and I just, I just left the scene right after that. There were like so many deer in the forest. Like I, I just wasn't used to seeing that like at all. So that was definitely a learning experience for me. So when you come to this park specifically, just be mindful that Sometimes you might see deer foraging on the trails, like where people actually walk on the trail, deer will be there. So just, just be aware of your surroundings when you come to this park and um, just keep your distance. And that's basically it. Take a few photos and that, that's it. Just leave the scene. So this is a male eastern bluebird. I was photographing in the open field habitat that I said earlier in the beginning of the video. He actually let me get a few side profiles of him hunting and looking for insects. It was really cool. Here's like a side view profile of him looking right at me. And then um, he basically turned the other direction and I basically got all three sides of him. It was really cool. i never seen him so busy just hunting before because I'm not used to going to open field habitat so going to this park allowed me to see like open field birds and forest birds so it was really really interesting to see 
So this here is a Northern Mockingbird. This bird was so photogenic, it actually did not fly away when I was snapping photos of him. I mean, literally, I could get really close to him and just, just snap from different angles and perspectives. It was really cool to see just the Mockingbird just, just sit there, really. I actually have had a few successes photographing him in the past. They're very people friendly. They're not camera shy or anything like that. So it was, I had a great time just, just photographing it and viewing it in the distance. Amazing bird to see in the open field habitat that it loves to live in. So after I photograph a lot of field songbirds in the field, I actually went back to the forest. It is crazy, I was just talking about the deer earlier, and why would you go back, <laughs> right? But actually, um, I didn't see too many deer this time. I actually saw some robins. I thought it was something else. I heard some, some noise in the bushes or something, I don't know, or the leaves. And I actually saw two robins, and I guess they were looking for worms and stuff like that. So I, I snapped a few photos of them. And that was it, basically. I walked around. I explored some trails. The trails were interesting. I didn't do. I didn't. I was thinking about doing the trail video, but I was so distracted with the birds. It's like I just focused mainly on the bird photography when I was here today. So it, it was really cool. It was like bird. It's like a bird haven spot. It's a bird hot spot, man. It's birds everywhere in this park. So this is where it gets interesting. So on this day, I was lucky enough to witness a actually a red a red tail hawk pair, and they were not camera shy at all. These guys wanted their pictures taken. So in this image above, you see a red tail hawk with a snake in his bill, and Literally, like a few minutes after I saw these birds, they were just flying right over my head, and they were just performing like a victory lap or something of what they accomplished, which was getting a snake. So this bird here, he was just flying around, like circling right over my head with a snake in his bill, and it was amazing to see. I thought it was a stick from a distance, like, oh, there must be nest building or something. I took a little closer in the photo. I was like, wait a minute, no, that's not a stick. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something else completely different. A snake. I wonder what kind of snake it was. It must be, it must be non-venomous. But red tails, they, they kill, um, they kill rattlesnakes with the venomous, so it, it might have been a non-venomous or not. Either way, they kill snakes and they love snakes, so. I, I was very fortunate enough to capture that this day while they performed their victory lap right above me. It's a hey Jabbar, that snap a few photos of our prize. This is what we won. And this was like early in the morning, guys. I guess it was like around 10, I'll say like 11, 11 a.m. I captured this. So it was really cool to, um, to capture and see at the same time. So this is my favorite image from today. This gorgeous red tail hawk just soaring. Like with the fully spread out wings and the fan out tail is like a dream shot for me. And all the, all the feathers are on the bird. They haven't been plucked away from small songbirds or anything like that. This is like a perfect in-flight soaring shot. That's what I always wanted to get, guys. I always wanted to get a nice soaring Close up, soaring shot of a bird of prey just like this. And um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite image of the day, man. I'm just, I'm just in love with them. I'm obsessed with this image. And you guys would not believe this, but all these bird images that I've been sharing with you, I have shot with my manual 500 milliliter lens. When I looked in camera at this amazing shot I took, I'm like, wow, I pulled this off with a manual lens. That's, that's impressive and difficult. But it, it takes a great photographer to pull this off because a lot of people cannot do this. It takes 
a long time. But I am glad that I was able to capture this amazing picture with my lens and I was I was able to do it. That that's the most impressive part about it. I, I, I pulled it off and I nailed it. And I got my dream shot. And that's all the thing that matters to me is getting this shot. I'll definitely cherish it and I intend to get more images just like this and better. More to come in the future. So this is the red tail pair that I was talking to you about. I actually got them in frame this time. Well, of course the one on the left, it's doesn't have the snake in his mouth, but the one on the right does. And I was glad to be able to capture both in frame, it was, it was definitely challenging to capture both of them in frame. As they were performing a little victory lap, saying, hey, we caught this snake and we wanted you to take a picture of us with it. It is very cool to do. I always like the paparazzi for the birds as they are celebrating their prize, the snake. Which was very cool to capture in camera. I hope you guys enjoy watching my video of all the pictures I took at Cromwell Valley Park. Definitely like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I post every Thursday at 2 o'clock p.m. And I'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful day.